After a rough game last week in which he threw three interceptions, Barack Obama is looking to have a good game. He lost to the Jets last week, but this week he will be taking on the Miami Dolphins here in Los Angeles. What's going on, guys? It's Mr. Affleck 9916 and welcome back. Episode 9 of this Madden career mode. Getting pretty far into the series already. Facing off, as I said, against Miami. And our first drive is going to end up with a deep pass down the right side. That is going to be caught for the first down. Nice play by the wide receiver to make that catch. Let's actually take another look at that one. Perfect throw from Obama. Man, is that a tight place to make that catch. But he's able to throw it right in there perfectly. And a nice catch by the wide receiver. Holds onto the ball through the contact. So... Nice play right there. We need to see more of that going forward from our wide receivers. First and 10 on the next play. Going to the right side. It's going to be a short little pass completed. And we gain about five yards on that one. It ends up being third and three after a short run. We're going to go to the air. Throw to the right side. That's going to be caught. But we end up going out of bounds. So kind of ridiculous right there. We have to give up the ball, especially because someone was open on the left side. Next set of down, or next drive. It's second and 10. Short little run. Not going anywhere. It's third and 11. Very next play. We're going to throw it to the right side, and the same thing happens. Wide receiver is out of bounds. There's a flag on the play. It didn't matter. Miami got the ball and scored, so we're down 7 and nothing on our next drive. It's going to have a short little pass to the right side, and the receiver is going to gain about 9 yards on that one after the catch. Second and inches, we just run it up for the first down. So we're able to get the first down right there. Just our second of the game. Second and 11 on the next set of downs. Throw it over the middle. That one is going to be dropped, so it'll be third and 11. Going to go to the air here, trying to get that first down. We need to put a drive together. We haven't been productive yet on offense. We go to the right side, and that one is going to be dropped as well. So a pretty crappy job by our wide receivers in the first quarter of this game. They're dropping a lot of passes. That's why we're down 7 to nothing. We get the ball 11-37 left in second. Really good field position here at the 43-yard line in opposing territory. Short little pass over the middle gets us to the 37 and ends up going to third and two. Trying to get the first down here. I throw it to the right side and actually that was my fault. Obama just overthrows that one, which is weird of him because that was an easy completion. A high school quarterback could have made that completion. We do get the field goal though, so it's seven to three. Back up at our one yard line the next time we get the ball. We are going to gain a yard there. We end up getting to the two. It's second and eight. Throwing it to the right side. That one's going to be caught and he's going to be wide open. He could take this all the way. Unfortunately, the Dolphins are going to catch up to him and drop him. But that is a 43 yard completion and we are suddenly in really good field position. So that's one of the big plays that could go a long way in this game if we can pull off a win. Throwing it over the middle on the next very, very next play and we're going to get what I thought was a first down and ends up going to second and 10. I think there was a flag on the field. Either way, we are going to get a pass in a few yards. It'll be third down. So it's third and two. We're over 100 yards for the game now, a little bit after we should going to try to run up the middle. That didn't work. I need to learn to just stop running the ball. I really, really want to make running something this team can do, but they just can't. Our running back sucks, so I basically have to pass the ball as much as I can. We score a field goal. Miami marches down the field. They also score a field goal, so it's 10-6. to 6. 44 seconds left in the half. We're going to try to bomb it deep, try to get a touchdown by halftime to take the lead. We're going to go to the right side. This one's going to be caught, and the wide receiver's going to break the tackles. He's going to go all the way. It's Cooper, 20-10. Touchdown Rams! We've taken the lead as we head to the half. Our 20th passing touchdown of the season. Hard to believe we are already up to 20 this year. But that is in fact what is going to happen. And we have taken the lead over the Miami Dolphins right before halftime. So, man, did this game change in one play. Quite literally. First possession of the second half, we're going to start out with a run, and this is actually going to be a good run. We're going to gain about five, six yards on that one. It'll be second and four, so we actually gain six yards. Very next play, go into the air, just a short little pass. That's all we need. It's going to be a first down, so we are starting off the drive pretty well. Second and seven on the next set of downs, a little run to the right side, and we are going to get near the first down yet again. Nice play by Mason. It's third and one. I thought he could have gone around the defenders right there, but on third and one, I try to get Mason to run it for the first down, and that's not going to work. It'll be fourth down. We'll have to punt the ball. Miami's going to end up getting some kind of a turnover, either an interception or a fumble, and we get the ball back at the opposing 24-yard line. So great job by our defense, forcing the turnover. Our defense has been phenomenal this year. Going to the air on first down, 
and there was a man open down the right side. That would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second and ten. Going to the air on second and ten. We're going to throw it over the middle. This one's going to be caught, and we are into the red zone at the ten-yard line. It ends up going to third and goal here, really needing the score. Going to the air right side. It's caught, but he ends up dropping the ball. And we'll just have to settle for a field goal. Had I thrown it to the right guy earlier on when we were at the 24-yard line, would have had a touchdown. So it's 16-10, to 10, 8 seconds left in the third. First and 10, we get the ball in good field position again. I'm going to throw it to the right side, short little completion, and we will get a first down. That's going to be it for the third quarter. We'll head to the fourth with the ball in good position, up 16 to 10. We switch directions here, second and inches. We're going to get it over the middle. Uh, not over the middle, it's a run. We're going to run it up the middle, and that's going to be a first down. So we're at the 49-yard line. Very next play on first down. Going to go to the air. We're going to throw it to the left side. That's going to be caught. He's going to get to the 40, break a tackle. Jonathan Quick gets all the way to the 33-yard line on that play. So once again, we are driving 220 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Pretty good game for Barack Obama so far. Ten minutes left now. Go to the air. This one's going to be caught. Another short little pass over the middle. Short passes is what we're doing here on this all Madden difficulty, and it's working, guys. It's a little bit slow moving, but our defense is good, and we're, you know, not trying to risk it too much. Second and three. Go to the right side. That one's going to end up being dropped. So it is third down here in field goal range so we don't need the first down but we definitely want it because we want a touchdown i tried to make a short little pass and that was a stupid pass decision it ends up going to fourth down and unfortunately we do have to settle for a field goal we've had to settle for a lot of field goals in this game and that's what's keeping miami in it they haven't scored many points but this game's not over by any means first and ten still nine minutes left in the game so i'm still going to pass the ball miami had a little blitz coming on right there that we actually did a screen pass it goes nowhere it ends up being second and 12 those passes work sometimes sometimes they don't second 12 we go to the air on the right side it's going to be caught and the receiver's going to break a tackle give a stiff arm to the next guy but he ends up good and brought down by him we get all the way to the 38 yard line though so first and ten going to go to the air again Looking for a man. Throw it to the right side. It's tipped, and it's going to be intercepted. A bad throw by Barack Obama right there. I, I swore the receiver was open, but the throw, I guess, was a little high. Yeah, that throw is way too high, and it ends up being tipped and then intercepted. So we throw our first interception of the game. Chris Colliver is going to come down with the interception. Miami marches down the field and scores a touchdown. So next possession, first and ten. We're going to have a short little completion to start off the drive. We gain five yards. Going to be second and five. Six minutes, 18 seconds left in the game. Going to the ground this time. And we are going to just gain a few yards. It's going to be third down at this point. I didn't want to risk throwing it too early because it wasn't really, I don't know, used neat necessary but it's third and three at this point i still do want to get the first down so we're going to go there throwing over to the left side and oh our freaking wide receiver dropped it so we're gonna to have to give miami back the ball here they're not going to score luckily we're at the six yard line bad field position starting the drive off on the ground just trying to kill as much time as we can uh 420 left now in the game we throw it over the middle and it's going to be dropped yet again so our wide receivers continue to drop a lot of passes third and nine needing the first down here going to the air looking for a man open we throw it and that one's going to be intercepted i didn't see the safety i should have that was really stupid but i guess i forced the pass because i was afraid of the safety miami's going to be at the 10 and they're going to get a field goal so now Guys, I got the ball, 328 left. I need to make up for my mistakes. I need to deliver a win for the Los Angeles Rams because I have screwed them over in the last game, and I don't want to screw them over two games in a row. It's second and 21 after that sack that you saw. There's going to be a flag on this next play. It would have been third down at about 15, but instead, uh, the flag's going to make it second and 16. It's a five-yard penalty holding Marco Williams. So I'm going to accept that because that gives us two downs. Uh, I mean, I, I think that was the right decision to accept it right there because we could have a third and five instead of a third and, you know, 12 if we can make this next play work. A little bit of risk, but a lot of reward. Going to the air on second 16 over the middle. That one's going to be incomplete. So we actually do end up in a worse situation than we were. Third and 16. This is going to be the key play of the game. Going to the air, looking for man over the middle, and this one's going to be caught. Our wide receiver finally makes a nice play. No, he didn't. He dropped it. Fourth and 16. We give it to Miami. They somehow don't score, so a minute 16 left in the game. I thought for sure he came down with the ball. I guess he dropped it. First and 10. 
Go into the air right here. We are desperate to do anything we can. We go to the left side. That one's going to be caught for the first down at the 33-yard line. We're going to go no huddle at this point. We need to get down the field as quickly as we can. We got two timeouts left, but I don't want to use them up because we got to save one if we can get in field goal range. Exactly one minute left as we start the next play. Going over the middle. This one's going to be caught, and we're going to get a ton of yards on this play all the way up to the 48-yard line. So we're actually getting fairly close to field goal range now. Going into no huddle again. I don't know what's going on with my camera angle here, but whatever. We got to get the ball snapped as quick as we can. That's what we do. Go into the air. We're going to wait. Go to the right side. This one's going to be caught. We're all the way to the 33, and we are in field goal range. Miami calls a timeout. They needed to slow our offense down because we were doing really good, and at this point, guys, there's no need to pass. There's no need to risk an interception. We're just going to run the ball, and Miami only has one timeout left, so we can let the clock go as low as we can. Second and seven, going on the ground again. Now it's going to be third down after that run, but as I said, it doesn't matter. We're going to go for the field goal on fourth down unless we can run for the first down but then we'll still you know run the time down go for a field goal third and eight we're gonna put it on the ground and now we will go for the field goal will we make it to win this game we're gonna call timeout right at the end and see if we can win it what's gonna happen here the field goal unit comes on can they make it yes they make the field goal and the los angeles rams defeat the miami dolphins 22 to 20 in what was without a doubt the most exciting game of the year. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. Sorry there was only one game, but it was a good one, so I wanted to show a lot of highlights. Make sure you all rate, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this series. Getting close to the end of the season, we'll go over the standings in the next episode because I haven't really showed that. But for now, we will see you next time. The Dolphins did not have one point in the first period. That's a glitch. I'm Mr. Affleck, 99-16. Peace.